In this video, we will look at uh, uh, understanding uh, differences between a data center and the cloud computing. We will begin with understanding what are the benefits uh, or the drawbacks of a data center and which, which paved the way for a cloud computing to be picked up. And we will look into various benefits for a company or an enterprise when they are looking to go to cloud. And finally, we'll end with uh, understanding the state response, responsibility model, which ensures yeah, the, the business uh, continuity and business applications are up and running while the cloud provider uh, takes care of majority of the services required for, for the application data to run. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Chaitanya and you can call me Chai. I have more than a decade and a half of experience with software development as a developer, tech lead, architect, and various other roles around designing and delivering software products. Before getting started with the Azure Cloud, the first thing we need to understand is the, the physical infrastructure of Azure and how uh, Microsoft manages the Azure infrastructure across the geography. So we will begin with understanding how uh, my Azure uh, defines the locations and how they're grouped so that we will get a good understanding when we get into the application services and and decide how to use the same. So the, the physical infrastructure is basically, it, it begins with, you know, every Azure is available across all the regions. And here I have listed some, but uh, it is more, it, it, has, it, it is available in many more locations. So a region is, is, a, is actual geography location where the data and Azure data centers are available. Uh, it, 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 it starts from United States to Asia, Europe, Australia, China, right? So these are some of the regions where the data center are available. And every data center uh, or every region has a region pair. A region pair is, uh, a, is a group of two, two data centers in a particular region, which is at a distance of approximately 300 to 400 kilometers. So which means that a pair is, uh, is what we use to define the the configurations of like let's say such as backups and uh, uh, and replications that you want to do so a region pair is useful to ensure the data is backed up in in the pair of that particular infrastructure and azure region is uh, is a, is one of the location where the data center is available for example in united states uh, north in north central US and the central US is a two regions and they both they both could be a region pay right so Azure region is is actual physical infrastructure physical data center in a particular location and every region every Azure region has something called availability zones so these are the availability zones are uh, are will define the uh, again, it's a zone level uh, uh, backups and zone level uh, dependencies and backups that you can configure, which will go here. So example, you can have a uh, availability zone uh, in a particular data center and uh, and you can replicate the data in, in a particular, in, in the adjacent or a closer availability zone or pair it with a region pair or uh, back up with other, other region pair level or, or cross regions, geography redundancies. So the key part of physical infrastructure is understanding of the region pair and availability zones. So that will determine uh, in, when we get into the services and applications, this will determine, uh, you will use this information to determine your backup strategies, different application strategies and everything. So the next part is you know, how our infrastructure, how our resources are grouped or categorized in Azure. So 
before we go into the some of the key terminologies, a compute resource is uh, typically uh, the actual service or resource that utilizes infrastructure. It could it could be your database, your Azure service, your app service, or, or any other services that we use, which is which could host your application or host your data. That's a compute resource. A uh, resource group in Azure is uh, is a kind of a container which can group multiple compute resources and uh, as part of the particular resource uh, grouping. Uh, resource group uh, could be grouped by location uh, or based on your application. So it depends. You can group your resources based on your need. And subscription is the is the top level uh, entity wherein the billing happens. So every subscription can have multiple resource groups, and uh, your costing or your billing will be done at the subscription level. Finally, management group is basically you grouping your subscriptions uh, across your organization. For example, your uh, HR and finance can have their own subscription while your uh, development and production can have two different subscriptions of their own. And they both can group under management group of uh, the IT and development and, and support groups. So management groups allow you to manage multiple subscriptions. And if you look at, if you want, if you just to understand the hierarchy of these resource uh, infrastructure, so at the top most you have the management groups. As I said, you can have a managed group, management group like IT and Dev, and a group called Support. And every managing, managing group can have multiple subscriptions. Now we can have IT and Dev, you can have a, a Dev subscription and a production subscription. And every subscription can have resource groups and resources defined. So uh, typically we design, uh, we understand and set up these subscriptions based on the organization, based on the need, so that you could uh, track and manage the resources and the costing accordingly.